Hey guys, Saturday morning here. Just had a truck bill leave the bay. I'm, I'm just here gonna clean up a little bit. No one's here by myself in the shop, might as well. Uh, clean, gonna clean my truck too, it's kinda dirty from the week. Uh, but this footage is from earlier in the week. I had a customer complain about a forklift shaking while operating. Never heard of a forklift shake before, other than like wheel bearings and stuff going bad. But this was a different shake. Here's the footage of it. So as you can see that it broke the axle bolts that hold the frame to the axle. So when you hit a bump or something, it you know moves the whole frame. But the bad thing about that is that it only had we had only one holding, three of them broke. So you gotta pull the mask off to get to the bottom bolt that broke off. It was just, if it was just the top ones, it would be easy. But it broke the bottom one, so off with the mask. And then uh I had another forklift. I never seen something like this before either. It leaked out, it had a bad idle and then it started leaking out the valve cover. I never seen propane come out of the valve cover. So I had to ask a couple of people what they think. And luckily I had the part on my truck to replace it. It's the LP shutoff valve. It tells the system that it has enough pressure don't send no more for the most part. Uh, here's that footage too. So after calling a couple people, found out that the uh, fuel pressure shutoff was bad. I had a, luckily I had a new one, replaced it. No more propane coming out the valve cover. And it turns on. Burns like a champ. No more hissing. So, feature reference: if you have one that's hissing out the valve cover, try to replace that shut off solenoid first. And yeah, hopefully that's it. Or got lucky. So, that's about how my week went for the most part. Everything else was pretty easy. Nothing too bad. Nothing else really major. Pointing, pointing out, coming out. You know. Uh, so I'm just gonna clean up and have fun.